Hey guys, Miss O'Donnell here. Um, I've gotten quite a few questions on our end of year escape room activity. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would take you through a couple of problems um, and kind of show you how I would approach it. So if you're struggling on challenge A, so take a look. Challenge A is a little tricky because of the way the triangles are formatted, right? So we did this one in class. We know A goes to C. Um, if you were trying to do the next problem, so the next problem, oops, the next problem that I would do, the first thing I would do is kind of blow up that triangle. Then I, excuse me, I might even like spin it around so I can see my equation. Then I'm going to grab a piece of paper, right? Grab my notebook. Um, and I'm going to start working out that equation, right? So when I'm solving equations, I know I'm doing inverse order of operations, right? So I'm undoing that order of operations. So I have 2x minus 51 equals negative 10 uh, minus 2x minus 7. So whenever I do an equation, I always start by writing down the original equation. A big mistake that I see a lot of students make and learn from is when they are writing the equation, if they start doing it first automatically in their head, there's oftentimes they get a sign wrong and then they don't have work to go back and check. So always start by rewriting the equation. That just helps develop awareness, right? Then I start working through the problem. I'm going to simplify before I start doing any solving. So 2x minus 51 equals negative 10. I'm going to distribute that negative, so I have minus 2x plus 7, right? I'm going to simplify that right-hand side of my equation um, by combining like terms. So I've got negative 10 plus 7, so I've got negative 2x plus negative 3, and now this is the point where I don't have anything else to simplify, so I can start solving. Okay, so I'm going to get my x's to the left-hand side of my equal sign. I'm going to get everything else to the right. So I'm going to add 2x, right? I'm doing the opposite. And I'm going to add 51. And you can do this in two steps um, as well. Uh, so let's see here. The big thing is making sure you're doing your checks, right? So 2x plus 2x is 4x. Negative 51 plus 51 is 0. Negative 2x plus 2x is 0x. And negative 3 plus 51, uh, what does that give us? 48. Okay, so obviously 4x plus 0 is 4x. 0 times x is 0 plus 48 is going to give us 48. Divide both sides of my equal sign by 4, right? The opposite of multiplication is division. And let's see here, what is 48 divided by 4? So I end up with x equals 12. Once I know what x equals... Okay, um, let's see here, x equals 12, I have to grab, let's see here, I have to first change my triangle, original triangle, then I have to go in and look for x equals 12, which it looks like is g, and I can go ahead and spin g around and put him right in place, okay? If I wanted to check my work, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but if I wanted to check my work, I can take that 12, I can go back to my original problem, and I can plug it right in, right? So I should be able to do 2 times 12 minus 51 equals negative 10 minus 2 times 12 minus 7, right? And follow order of operations, and I should get the same number on both sides of my equal sign, right? 2 times 12 is 24. And I've got negative 10 minus 2 times 12 is 24, right? So I've got 24 minus 51 equals negative 10 minus, let's see here, 24 minus 7 is uh, 17. And let's see here, then I have 24 minus 51, which gives me a negative 27. And negative 10 minus 17 is a negative 27. So huzzah, I know I did the problem the right way because I got a true statement. Negative 27 is equal to negative 27. So that's your check. All right, stay tuned for the next video.